First, thank, thank Howard, thank Pedro, and everyone who's organizing this this very important workshop. I'm seeing very interesting things here. I was actually looking forward to to watch the the the, the presentation about the server digitizer. It's something that I'm really interested. So I, I hope Jasper could share after. Well, I, I will talk about one of the the preliminary results of one of our research projects at the University of Brasilia. Uh, that is focus has a uh, that has a focus on survival curves uh, fitting for aggregated data, because here in Brazil it's not common to have access to the IPD. So even even inside the agencies, even even inside the private or public health technology assessment agencies, they don't have access uh, to the IPD. So we have to deal with the the data extracted from Kaplan-Meier plots and things like that. So, uh, well, just to 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 have some background, I think everyone is aware that the current methodological guidelines uh, always recommend to adopt a lifetime horizon. That could be ten years, thirty years, depending on the the, the disease we are ev uh, evaluating. In cancer, we would be most of the time for 10 years or something like that. For that, we need to extrapolate. We need to extend the, the time uh, uh, beyond the, the, the time that was, uh, was tested in the trials, in the RCT. And this was very common in the past uh, with two main survival curves. I think everybody was used to, to adopt it in exponential or weighable curve. We, we could do with this uh, very easily. But during the last years, there, there has been a, a lot of discussion on other curves, other important methods to, to, to do it more precisely, uh, including Gompertz, Gamma, uh, log normal, log logistic, and other curves that we can use to extend this, this time. And we also uh, uh, have seen lots uh, a huge discussion on uh, on the steps uh, to decide which would be the best fitting, which would be the best curve. It's always a bet. We we cannot know uh, what would be exactly the 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 data beyond the the time of the trials, but we we are trying to 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 choose the best the best option, and we can do this basically. Uh, most important uh, uh, based on visual inspection, uh, evaluating not only the fitting but the plausibility of the 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 the, the, the behavior of the curve during the, the the time beyond the trials, and but also we need to to consider the the complexity of the model and the fitting. That's why uh, uh, all the guidelines have suggested to use the AIC and BIC, which deals with the goodness of fitting, but also the complexity of the model, because we don't want to, we don't want to, to, to suffer from uh, underfitting, but also from overfitting. We, we need to predict, we, we need to have the best bet to predict the, the curves. And a model who is overfitted will only reflect the, the data during the time tri uh, in the trials. So it's not, it's not easy to deal with programming here in Brazil, as I was, was sharing in the last presentation, in the former, uh, before my presentation. So one of the, the, the objectives of this research project is to offer, to share a simple tool, a user-friendly interface to do all this fitting. And uh, uh, for some people who still doesn't deal uh, very good with programming in R or something uh, similar. So we wanted to, 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 to target other objectives, but one of the objectives was to, to build this uh, user-friendly interface. We, uh, we need, so for this, we need to, to build a reproducible code in R. Uh, we are expecting to use Shiny uh, and the platform 
to to build this uh, uh, interface and we will also we we'll, we are planning to build materials training workshops to to uh, in this this field of survival curves uh, applied to health economic models so how we are now we needed we needed to choose uh, a study case and we chose it uh, case in oncology because it's the most important field that we can see the use of uh, overall survival in progression free survival it's very common to need uh, uh, the, 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 the extrapolation of the data based on survival curves and also we have uh, it, it's been very common now to have the partition survival analysis model even here in Brazil it's it's been very common too they are totally based on this fitting of survival curves and uh we chose this this uh this this situation this problem in breast cancer and we have the we have had the the the, the lucky of 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 having such kind kind authors that have shared with us the ipd uh from this study so we we had access to the ipd of this published study on fluvistrand and anastrozole for breast cancer so based on this we could compare our our algorithms based on aggregated data in ipd so we can we can validate if this could be an important tool or not and useful tool or not so the first point we we didn't have access to the to the package server digitizer I'm, I'm looking forward to see because it's something that we can also incorporate in our, in our code so I'm very happy to to see that somebody has uh, developed this we have used the web plot digitizer it's an open access to two there are other digitization softwares as well, but we have chosen this, that we could uh, uh, select a lots of points of the curves and this, this tool uh, has the ability to, to share a CSV file with all the points and estimates. So with those estimates, we could recreate all the survival curves. This came, these figures came, came from one of the the works of my student Solange Borges, who has worked on this during the last year, and we can see that that in fact we we can't really recreate the curve with a a very good precision. It's not uh, the same. We have we can see some smoothness on the the, the figures below. Uh, 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 on the top, we have the real data of the 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 with based based on the IPD and below we have the, the the recreated survival curves based on on the extraction from the plots so uh to to go ahead we have today lots of uh, uh, uh options to 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 fit the data based on this aggregated data all of them are mainly uh, based on the the reconstruction of the, the the simulation of IPD, you simulate the IPD from the, the the data extracted, and then you apply the common survival packages like FlexServe and ServReg and, and other packages we have in R. But we thought that this could be a, a, a step a, a little more complex to make the the, the user friendly too. We needed we needed to find something easier, even easier that could just put in the the shiny tool, and uh, the user could could have access to the parameters and the, the estimates of precision. So we tried to find an, an alternative, an even simple, a simpler alternative. Uh, in the the survival uh, uh, fitting. It's actually in, in another kind of optimization problem. We have dealt with optimization problems with some simple tools like Solver in Excel during uh, long times. Uh, Excel has this, this supplement, which is based on a GRG nonlinear optimization algorithm. 
it can deal very, very good with simple uh, functions like exponential. It's a simple survival function. The solver can solve it really quickly, but it cannot deal with very complex uh, functions like gamma. Gamma, it's very hard to, to it's, it's a very hard problem to, to solve with solver. So we try to find a, a replacement, a substitute for the solver with our programming language. And we have found the, 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 the NRL, NROS uh, package, the nonlinear list of squares that can deal with nonlinear problems based on the optimization, trying to find the best parameter based on simulations, on iteration, iterations. So uh, the next, uh, the next uh, challenge was to build the functions in our language to then use the, the, the NLS, NLS uh, package to try to, to optimize the parameters. Uh, we, we were working with the Google Colab that also runs uh, our language, which it makes very easy to, to have a collaborative uh, work on that. And after uh, long tries of, uh, of rewriting the functions, we were able to to implement all the functions in the R language using the optimization uh, algorithm. We just needed to use the FlexServe package because of the gamma function. The gamma function, it, it was almost impossible to recreate in the R based language. All the others we, we could, uh, we managed to recreate the functions in the, the R based language, but gamma was really hard. We have Different differential and calculation and flex serve would help, it could help us, and it was much easier. So, uh, with this, we could get the parameters of the of any curves that we can extract from the, the plots, and the, the code could share with us the, the estimates of the parameters of the functions and also the estimates of the, the, the goodness of fit. We have just a, a difference here that you can see uh, that we have negative values, but the fundamentals are the same. You must choose the, 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 the curves that have the, the lowest AIC or BIC, and this can indicate the best goods, goodness of fit as well. So, uh, we could implement this with the, the, the data from fulvous strength on breast cancer. And if you can see, some of the estimates are actually quite, uh, quite similar, quite the same here when, when we compare the, uh, the values from, from the aggregated and the IPD data, like exponential, uh, Weibull, we can see that they are very similar to. And with more complex functions, we have some difference, but they are quite similar. We can uh, uh, find quite similar uh, parameters. In visual, uh, uh, in Guinness of Fit, uh, both uh, uh, of the methods have indicated quite the same curves, but we have had some differences on the IPD recommending one curve and the aggregated data recommending another curve. So we need to deal with this visual inspection and also with the goodness of fit. Uh, we cannot, it's not easy to see here how different the, they can be, but uh, when we, we plot the both the two, two, two best curves from both the IPD or aggregated data, we can see that there's not, there's not too much difference. We can see that they are quite the same. They have quite the same behavior during the, the, the time that we have compared. The main difference was with the, the, the over survivor here. I don't remember which was the arm, but we can see that we have some difference here uh, between the generalized gamma based on IPG data, uh, based on IPG, and the generalized gamma based on aggregated data. These are the, the most, this was the most important difference. We have some difference 
at the end of this survival curve. Ivan, just let you know there's four minutes. All right, thank you. I'm I'm, I'm all, almost finished. I'm I got my conclusions. So as con uh, concluding these preliminary results, uh, we can conclude that direct affected survival to aggregated data was a straightforward and useful alternative in situations where we don't have access to IPG. If we have access to IPG, I would never think on, on, on this method. We, we can use more robust methods to, to try to, to find the best survival curves. Uh, but as, as I, I have showed, there were not too much difference. We, we, we could find quite similar survival curves in some situations. Uh, but this is the it is a preliminary results. We need to to run further studies in other situations, in other other diseases. We also need to find the best way to choose the the initial values. This is very important with the optimization algorithm. Based on the initial values, you can have a better fit or not. So we are working on this situation. We are we have also some caveats. Uh, 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 like uh, like uh, like problems with dealing with censoring. We are not dealing with censoring here. We are only getting the behavior of the curve, but we are not putting any any weight on censoring on that. This could be a very important uh, uh, limitation of the method. Method. We are hoping to. Oh, uh, uh, we have tried. We have uh, uh, tried the, the, the method in other situations. This was one of uh, the, the papers we have just published that we could deal with the same algorithm, and it was useful to uh, to find the best curves on the metastatic colorectal cancer. Uh, we 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 could use the model was construed was built in, in in Excel, but the survival curves were uh, fitted with the R you know, with the the, the 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 code we have just created, and the next the next step would be all those tests dealing with all those limitations in building this uh, useful tool. We have had some success in the past during COVID pandemics. We, we still we it's not ended, okay, but it we we live now in a better time of COVID. But we have created in our university uh, uh, a tool to calculate the RT, the R number of the, the, the replication of the, the, the disease to monitor the control of the pandemics. And everyone could calculate the, the R in your, in your city or neighbor or something like that. You know, they, they, could, uh, they only needed to upload a CSV file with the, the dates and the number of cases that were recorded during that time. We are trying to do something similar here, uh, where a user could uh, a user would need only to upload a CSV file with the, the, the times and the survival estimates extracted from the plots, and the 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 the, the, the app would share. The, the 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 visual inspections, the parameters, and the the estimates of goodness of fit as well, and and the user could choose would what would be the the best uh, survival curve. And I think we're just out of time. <laughs> okay, thanks again. Thank you very much, Ivan. It's, it's very interesting to see the presentation. Um, we have one quick clarification question from the audience uh, from Omar.